So last time, I'm sure I bored you to tears with my kind of venting, kind of being sad and sorry for myself. I haven't really done much in said week, um, which I feel kind of shitty about because I like being productive or I like the idea of being productive rather, but I haven't been productive. Um, but also I'm done. I'm not going to beat myself up about it too much because I was having like a really bad time <laughs> the week before. So I'm trying to tell myself that that's okay, that this week has been a bit gentler, if you will. Um, I'm still not 100%, uh, but I am. I think I'm doing a, a bit better. I think mentally I'm doing a bit better, which is great. Um, yeah, I haven't had the urge to burst into tears, which is always nice. I committed to the bit and I deleted TikTok, uh, which was all right. It's been all right for like the first couple of days that I deleted it, it was fine. Um, like I didn't think about it much and then <laughs> like I haven't been on it all week um, but then the last couple of days I've just had the urge to go on it and I've had like it's been really weird because I've it's just all I've wanted to do is go on there and just mindlessly scroll and I like can't do that because I'm not going on there so instead of mindlessly scrolling I've just kind of sat there and stared at the telly or uh, opened my Kindle and just stared at the same page because I want fast content. I want things really quick, but I'm not going to go on TikTok. So that's been a weird little struggle the past couple of days, but I'm sticking it out. I'm not going to download it again because um, I feel like it has helped mentally to an extent. I feel like I feel a little bit better, uh, but I'm not going to bore you with it. It's fine. I had a mopey couple of weeks, three weeks maybe, <laughs> that's okay, it happens. Uh, I'm going to try and make next week a bit better, as much as I can. Um, saying that though, I did come to the realisation that a lot of my uh, like mental worry, sadness, whatever at the minute, is very weather related. I know I said it might be, but it is very weather related, <laughs> definitely. Like earlier today, it was nice and sunny and it was kind of warm and I felt really good. And then out of nowhere, because British weather, it has started raining and it's gone really overcast and dismal again. And I feel kind of sad again. And like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to curl up into a ball and sleep. So that's not great, but we move. Um, and I don't like my bedroom at the minute. I like my bedroom for me time and like doing fun things. I just don't think it works when I want to be productive and get work done um, because my desk faces away from my window. So no matter what time of day, it's always dark in there because my side like in the house faces away from the light as well. So it kind of makes everything a bit shitter. So I feel like I've got to try and actually get out the house and do things which is not great it's fine it's fine um i just need to stop being a mopey little bitch i think um again next week i'm trying to drill it into my head next week is gonna be so much better i'm gonna try to do work i swear what else am i doing uh, i don't know i have come to work exceedingly early uh, like a good 45 minutes early so that I can um, read a little bit of a book and then go in to work before my shift starts and get some snacks because all I've been thinking about is snacks I want biscuits and uh, just food just food uh, very specifically I desperately want fig rolls desperately all I've been thinking about for like the last few days is how badly I want these goddamn fig rolls. So I'm going to go get some. And I think they also have some fun custard creams, which I really want to. I'm pretty sure they have like orange flavoured custard creams. So that's why I'm here very early. Um, but I haven't, like I said, been doing much of anything, which is quite bad now that I think about it. But I'm not going to think about it. I have been reading a fuck ton, though, actually. 
I say I've been doing nothing. I've been reading loads. And it's been going better than last time. I haven't actually DNF'd a book yet, which great, well done me. Um, but I finished Tower of Dawn. <laughs> I did it. I finished it on Friday, I think, while I was at work. Because I've been listening to it. I haven't been physically reading it. Fucking finally. <laughs> Throughout at least three quarters of that book, I did not give a shit what was happening at all. I couldn't, I could care less. I really couldn't care less. Uh, it's just so bad. Well, it's not bad. It's just boring. I should have done the tandem read. I should have listened to everyone when they said do the tandem read. It's better. It makes more sense. You don't get bored. But I didn't listen. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I finished it. Um, again, didn't really care. I do like Kale though. I feel like he's a bad good character i think he's just very real which you know is kind of mm, it's fine um the only things that got me through this freaking book and listening to it was having it on two times speed and um the romance i know not every book needs romance but my god did i need it to get through this in one piece if that makes sense I am just very glad as well that Kaol and Nezrin didn't stay together because they were not great. I didn't like it. And I like who they ended up with separately. So that was fun. That was great. Uh, I'm going to go into work and start... <sighs> what is it? It's not Empire of Storms. Kingdom of Ashes? The last one. The final one. That's what I'm going to start when I go in. Um, try not to cry, probably, because we're back to Aelin. It's fine. Um, and then I read a couple of Kindle books as well. Uh, one of them was just a cute little romance. I can't really remember too much about it, but it was good. Can't even... It's hailing. Anyway, can't even remember what it's called. But it's cute, it's fine. Uh, it was very, very short. Like, 200 pages max, kind of short. Um, and then I read a sports romance oh um there's an ambulance or something going past ambulance and then i read a sports romance called play with me i think i'm pretty sure that's what it was uh it was it was okay it was good it was fine it was just very long and the pacing was kind of off which always does my head in because uh, I like them when they're a bit faster, you know, so I can actually get into it. And it's raining. <laughs> uh, but it was okay. It was just fine. The romance was great. The characters were great. Everything that was happening in it was fabulous. It was just that the pacing was off and that kind of made me hate it a bit. Oh no, it's hailing. Wow. Our weather is great. <laughs> All you're gonna hear is hail. All you're gonna hear. Oh, it's dying down. Okay. And then I also got accepted for another ARC. I know I said ages ago that I was gonna stop applying for ARCs because I have so many books I need to read and they're a lot of pressure, uh, but I couldn't contain myself. I, j I, I keep looking, I keep requesting, and then I keep fearing for my life. Um, but I got accepted for Bespelled by Laura Thassala. <laughs> I read Bewitched like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. And then wanted to cry because of how it ended on a cliffhanger. And it was so intense and I just wanted the second book. And then a couple of days later, or a week later or something, it's on NetGalley. And I'm pressing that button with every fibre of my being. And I got it. I freaking got it. Um, and I'm so excited that I got it. If you couldn't already tell. Um... I've been reading it, a bit, right, I've been trying to make it last, firstly, so I haven't been binging it, um, but I've been, I've been reading it for like four days, maybe, again, trying to make it last, and I'm at like 85%, I want to say, and it's fabulous, it's great, the romance is romancing, there's a freaking cult or some shit happening as well, there's this whole like bonding situation, 
and a criminal organization there's so much happening in it and i'm just fearing for the characters because they've finally gotten over their differences or wait rather she's finally gotten over her differences and misgivings with him and they're like falling in love and shit but it's still got like 30 percent left so i'm just scared something bad's gonna happen but it's great <laughs> i'm having a lot of fun with it um i'm just terrified that it's gonna end badly i thought it was a duology going into it but now i'm scared that it's a trilogy but also i think it's a duology i guess i'm gonna find out and the other thing that i've been reading reading for i want to say a week and a half two weeks now is um i've been reading this one i brought it with me to read in the car and i haven't read yet it's hilarious isn't it but i brought this one a witch's guide to fake dating a demon um i am on like chapter five chapter five and like i said i've been reading it for like a week and a half um <laughs> I just haven't picked it up because I've been reading other things that have been bringing me lots of joy but I do want to get around to actually committing to this because what I have read it's been really cute but obviously I'm only on chapter five so there's not a lot happening uh, <laughs> but um yes so once I finish uh Bespelled that arc oh, again I hope it's only a duology I hope they get a happy ending once I finish that I'm going to commit to reading all of this um i'm not gonna pick up another book but this one. Oh, and the audio the uh the throne of glass book but that's that's fine um yeah that's really all i've been doing lately uh i've left the house a couple times but nothing worth noting uh i'm gonna go now though because i've talked for long enough i believe and i want my freaking snacks i need them so yeah, uh, mm, I don't know, mm, 